Well, it's Thursday and we're off just for a long weekend, aren't we, dear? Yeah. And we're going to Cromer mm -hmm. in Norfolk. That's about, well, with the caravan on, probably about 50 minutes. Normally about 35 in the car, isn't it? That's all, yeah. So a weekend away, that's where we're going. Forest Park. Forest Park. Now, we've been trying to get to Forest Park for the best part of two years. Hmm. It was supposed to be a, a, a Christmas, between Christmas and New Year break. Yeah. Between the two. Um, in 2019. Blimey. So, it's taken us all this time. Because of COVID and one thing and another, we have to keep stopping and cancelling and mm -hmm. moving it along. So we're going to go and have a long weekend. Um, the weather is grey, but it's dry. It's quite warm. Uh, it's going to be improving, but by the time it gets really good, we'll be back home, I think. <laughs> <laughs> but there you go. So, uh, Forest Park is a privately owned site in North Norfolk, just sort of south of Cromer. Uh, near a place called Overstrand mm. and we'll do the little bit of the journey in so you can see what the entrance is we'll do you a, a nice park I like it I like it yeah it's, it's got uh, some good walks mm. it's got some static caravans and it's got some I think it's got some camping yeah. it's got some tourers it's got a good clubhouse isn't it it's got wigwams it's wigwams yeah and it's got some tourers and it's got a oh clubhouse I was going to say and pool and pool so we, we have a, a game of bingo now that oh, we're we retired don't, we don't go in the pool do we no no and we don't win at bingo, do we? Not usually. Go in the meat raffle, don't win that ever. <laughs> However, we'll see how we get on. So, we'll join you again when we get a bit closer, so you can just see that little last few yards in, which is a little bit tricky in places, as you will see. So we'll catch you soon. Bye for now. It's a little bit not too bad at first, but it can get a bit narrow down here. Oh, and a bit bumpy as well. Oh, here we go. Here's our first little test. Yeah. So best to meet them here. <laughs> can we get past? <laughs> Tight. But we're getting there. Yeah, they're through. So. You don't want to be meeting anything now, really. Don't suck it up. Well, if we do, they'll have to go back. <laughs> we've met a tractor down here before. I'm sure we've met a big van down here before. You see, at the moment, the verges don't seem to be getting cut like they used to. So that doesn't help either. And then we've got a bit of a sharp one here because there's a railway bridge coming up. <laughs> I'll just give it a little bit of a let you know I'm coming. So it's not too bad there. Boop, boop. Oh, that's good. Nothing so far. So good.
gonna do, she was all about. That was excellent. Yes, fine, fine, fine. All fine. I think I'll need a stiff Adams ghost ship when we get there. Got a sharp left and then a pretty quick right. All okay, all okay, good, good, good. Right, so that's the worst bit. It's just for about, I don't know, not even a mile, three quarters of a mile maybe, half a mile. And that's the worst bit. Other than that, it's absolutely fine. And then we're just gonna turn off to the right here. we are at Forest Park. Park. I'm going to do the old site walk. It's a big site <laughs> so I might have to go fast forward or cut bits out but uh, as long as you arrive at the entrance to Forest Park it says it's outstanding natural beauty and it really is and it, it is a family park for tourists, tents, luxury lodges, holiday homes, you name it, anything to do with camping uh, and it's got the lot here and uh, unfortunately no sunshine but they can't help that can they? That's not their fault. And let's let this car go by. And, and Forest Park is actually in a place called North Reps, which practically touches Cromer. Uh, you're just south of Cromer, if you're familiar with the Norfolk coast. And I've actually just put the, uh, a little map on there anyway, so you can see where we are. Now, there are some static vans on here. That kind of suggests that people probably live here or potentially can live here up to about 11 months of the year. I'm not sure that they do stay that long, but uh, they're well out of the way of the touring site. And, and in actual fact, some of them are very nice indeed. So we'll, we'll show a little bit of that area as well. And when you're coming in, COVID practices are still in place. You know, under normal circumstances, you'd have three lanes of traffic going on. Left hand lane is for three traffic. Middle lane is for reception check-in and right lane is for reception check-in as well. But at the moment, if you've pre-booked, then what you would do is pull up to the left-hand side here and open this, <laughs> open this gate and all your details will be there. Open this gate, open this little door and all your details will be ready and waiting for you in there, including a pass, a map and a uh, bit of information about the club and stuff and what have you. So one area which is going to take you through first of all is called Wigwam Holidays and um, a bit of glamping really Helen yeah. over here. Pods. Yeah combination of sort of pods. Nice little wigwam created. I don't think that's a wigwam dear. Well, it's, <laughs> it's shaped like a wigwam and that's about where the likeness sort of finishes really. So pods is what we've got going on here. And this bit is um, sort of self-contained, I suppose. It's got its own little private area where you can come in. Each one of these sort of glamping pods has got its own fire pit, its own picnic bench. And all those, we haven't witnessed it this time we've been. We have been here in the past. And I do love the smell of the old campfire smoke drifted across the site. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea. It's not mine. Not yours, is it? But I quite like it because that's what camping is, really. Especially if you've got washing out. Yeah, but you're on holiday. You're going to be washing out when you're on holiday. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure there's anybody in these at the moment. I don't think so either. No. Which is a shame. But as we glance around, you can see the sort of setting that they're in. <laughs> yeah, Daisy. When we were in bed last night, actually just before we went to bed, we sat out quite late in the awning, didn't we? Yeah. And uh, listened to the owls for a while, that was nice. They were all over here, the owls, in these trees. I think they were, yeah. <laughs> so I hope you can get out up here, otherwise we've got to go around in a big circle again. Unless you go under the fence over there.
Yeah, I think we've worked out that uh, they're not open at this area here. Not sure why. Maybe they have been busy through the kids' school holidays. There are signs that there's been some fires lit in some of these pits anyway at some point, so... Yeah. The building you can see straight ahead and just behind that pod there, that's, that's reception. Just going to head back that way now. Right, so that was the wigwam holidays bit. The pods, the glamping. So here's your reception. On the other side of reception is a, a really good shop, isn't it? Yeah. Really well stocked. Well stocked, yeah. So, you know, all your usual bits and pieces, but in abundance. So big choice of drinks, you know, soft drinks, alcohol, water, uh, milk and milkshakes and stuff. But then quite a, a decent sized grocery section, really, with, uh, with fresh, tinned, frozen meats, cleaning equipment, some camping gear, some um, souvenirs and stuff like that. Maybe we'll, I don't know, if I'm brave enough, I might take you in there in a minute. So this first bit over here then, bit, a bit of camping, bit of uh, touring pitches, but quite a steep slope over at one point we noticed. So we've, we've steered clear of that bit. And we're just heading down towards where the, the clubhouse is at the moment. So it's a Friday afternoon. We saw a few people leave this morning. Obviously kids are back at school next week. But that said, quite a few people arriving this afternoon as well. And this sort of camping field is starting to get reasonably busy. Looks like they do a bit of caravan storage. <laughs> They've been there a long time, but I'll look at some of those number of different toilet blocks. I think I've counted three, four, four or five toilet blocks. I'll show you on the map. Wash-up facilities outside, etc. Not taking the uh, camera inside, but, you know, they're clean. They're tidy. There's also a swimming pool down here as well, isn't there? Yeah. Which I've not seen, so if we can find that, we'll have a quick film of that as well. We did notice Tesco.com have just been on site. So whether they're delivering to some of these statics, I mentioned that there was some uh, vans and lodges which look fairly permanent, don't they, some of them? Yeah, they are. Yeah. Oh, at least 11 months of the year, we think. So they're probably just having their Tesco.com delivery, which is brilliant. Someone pumping up their tent. Yeah, so a bit of camping going on over here on this field as well. It does go, it's quite big, it's, it goes on quite a bit, doesn't it? Yeah. We'll see if we can get the drone up at some point. If we don't get it up today, we'll do it on a separate video, maybe tomorrow or something. Because I want to go down to Cromer and Overstrand Beach, so that might be a separate video. We'll see how we go. Little children's play area over here as we get towards the clubber house. I've got a fit in the swimming pool, looks like it might be behind it. That looks like it, yeah. yeah. In which case obviously it's an indoor pool. I think you have to book it. And you've got to come ready, you can't get changed here. At the moment, the way things are still, yeah. Now we've been here two or three times before and uh, normally there's entertainment on in this clubhouse and bit of bingo and food and what have you, quiz, yeah. quiz night and everything, so it's good. Uh, however, I don't think they've started their entertainment back up yet. No, Street food at the Foresters Club. So here you have it. Food available from opening with last orders at 8.45 on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And there's your street food menu. 
apparently do good Sunday lunches in here as well. Do you want to go and have a quick look? So when we've been here before, this area seems to be more of a family room normally. Little stage up there, looks like they've got a bit of a disco that goes on from time to time. Some books and games over here in this corner. Have you? Don't know if you want to get a drink, do you or not? Oh, okay. Uh, an outside seating area as well. A little smoking hut over there for the smokers. I'll go back into the bar in a second. Uh, pretty sure this is a swimming pool. I'll go have a quick look. Yeah, that's a, that's a swimming pool. Looks really nice, actually, and clean. I don't want to go and film in there again because there's, there's children in there and I just don't like that sort of thing, really. So, <laughs> hey, you getting the beers in, love? What are you having? You got wine though, have you? Yeah. I'll have a, uh, are you going to ghost ship, please? No, no ghost. No ghost ship. I'll have a Doom Bar then, please. Yeah, yeah thank you. Well, I'm, uh, I'm glad we went in there to film because I managed to get a pint of Doom Bar out of it. Yeah, and a glass of Shiraz. Glass of Shiraz, even. Shiraz? Shiraz, whatever. <laughs> so, well, <laughs> one they've just bought out, yeah. It's a, it's a cross between Shiraz and Jerez. <laughs> we, right, where should we go now? down there I reckon well no through that little bit so we're just going to wander over towards more of a I don't know if it's residential or just statics but we'll see I do like the way they kit some of these places out though they make them very homely take this one just coming up on the left got the old gazebo in the garden got a little heated lamp Nice little garden area. Lovely balcony, that's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I bet they could. Same with the one straight ahead. If I've got my bearings right, if we walk straight up here for a bit, we'll end up with a little sea view and a view over Cromer Golf Course. So we will see. Got a log yeah, got a log burner in their uh, sort of lodge. Lovely seating area. That's the sort of thing I wanted to put on the patio, that sort of gazebo y thing. Very nice. Every now and again, it just gets a little bit bright as if the sun's going to come out and then it doesn't. No, but next week, the man in the shop tells me it's going to be 23 here and sunny. Oh, well. But we've gone home. We so won't be here. <laughs> That's great. So I think what we can do is just go around to the right and then left. And then we've got a nice sea view, I think. So one thing you have got plenty of here, as you might expect, places to walk the dog. Um, now, I think it was around here. Yeah, here we go. Have a little walk up this bit. Oh yeah, 
passing your right. Well, I normally am. Uh, no, no. <laughs> Yeah, look at this. Absolutely glorious. All got their wood burners and stoves and stuff in the gardens. Very well cared for. Right, I might get a bit of wind noise here, folks. The wind's picking up a bit. There's a clue that we're getting closer to the sea. Isn't that lovely? Really yeah. yeah, plenty of bird feeders and things going on, so yeah. I can hear. The sea is a bit misty. Well, yeah, it's a bit grey out there, you see. Mm. So we've got a little area over here for kids to run around, play football, and a little basketball net and stuff like that. I think that's a golf course over there. Yeah, it is. That's Chroma. Chroma Golf Course. This might be a nice place to bring the drone for a little fly, you know. Too windy today though. So it's not going to make today's video, but um, if the weather behaves, then what we're planning to do tomorrow, <laughs> best laid plans and all that, is to get up quite early, try and get down here um, for two reasons, because there's another walk over here, over to the right, through the forest, and it does take you down to the uh, little village of Overstrand and onto the beach. Now, I've not been on that beach, I think there could be cliffs down there. We want to go through the forest, don't we, and see if we can catch some wildlife. I don't think they'll hang around long if they see us too. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, have a wander through the forest, see if we can catch some wildlife. Maybe get the drone up on the beach tomorrow. And then, as Helen's already pointed out, we've got Chroma Golf Club over here. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit for you. And literally just the other side of the course to the left, you are practically in Cromer at that point. So it just gives you an idea of geography, where we are on the east coast. Almost behind that tree really, would be, you're getting in towards Cromer. I've never walked it, so I don't know. I know it's five minutes in the car. But it's gray and pretty cool breeze coming off the North Sea at the moment. And Helen's struggling with her backache, aren't you, dear? Yeah. Which is not good. But look up there, there's just a little telltale sign in those grey clouds up there. <laughs> that is a little bit of brightness. Yeah, you lost me quick. <laughs> is it there? Come out, come out, wherever you are. Yeah. Right, we're off wandering. Not sure how far with your back, to be fair, but... Just keep going down there. Well, if you go down there, you're going to end up on a long walk if you go left. So let's go straight over. Try and, try and keep to the, uh, the perimeter of the park. You can smell hay, yeah. So, you know, for all the dog lovers, we've brought our little boys here in the past. This is a great place to come because the walks are just amazing. They go on and on and on. Not sure uh, Helen and Martin of H&M Motorhome Treks. I don't know if you guys have been out here before, but not a million miles away from home for you. You can bring that uh, live wire of yours here and have a, give him a good run. <laughs> Poppy. So we're going to go left then, Helen, yeah? Okay, let's see where we land. <laughs> My, I'm not sure about the cure, that's the only thing. Well, the good thing is, it might not be sunny, but it is dry. And it's not really cold, is it? No, it's not cold. It's not, you know, definitely not cold, actually. 
but it's better out of the wind. Yeah. We had a little drive back to Caser on Sea to go and get some medication for Helen's back from our chemist. It was actually 19, it was two degrees warmer back home. Nice, isn't it? Yeah. Getting a bit scared now, Helen. We're in the thick of the forest. Pretty sure I heard a wolf a minute ago. Mm. We should have done a Hansel and Gretel and dropped some crumbs behind us so we could find our way back. Actually, we're on a, a well-trod path here, aren't we? Yeah. We're not the only ones who've walked down here recently. I think I can remember this when we had the dogs. Yeah, oh, that's good. Uh, little little rope swing over there, like oh, yeah. on the tree. Do you have a go? No, I think I might break the rope if I got on that. Have a go. Go on. I'm not having a go. Why not? I'm too big. Go on. You want to see me have an accident, don't you? <laughs> yeah, that's all it is. <laughs> Great place though for kids, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Ooh, steep hills for your back. No, it's not bad. Obviously we are still on the perimeter of the park because over there you can see more static caravans and stuff. Yeah. So we're not far away from civilization really. No. It's not dark. Oh, the old owls are out early, aren't they? No. Oh, yeah. You've even taught the parrot to do that, haven't you? Yeah, he does it. Okay. Feels a bit odd without a dog walking through here, doesn't it? Very odd. I uh, don't think we've announced live yet. Should we make the announcement? Yeah, we lost the other one on the 22nd of July. Yeah, 22nd of July, poor Gizmo went and met his brother again in heaven. Yeah. He wasn't great actually, since Chucky went back in February, was it? No, it's never the same. No, he missed him terribly. But not just missing him, and that's not why he's not here anymore, he, he wasn't well himself. Well, he was 15 years, 4 months, it was good. Great age for any dog, 15 and a half years practically. So we're dogless at the moment and uh, we're just going to hold out and see how things go because uh, we last time we had a dog and we lost him, or her sorry, we, we got those two boys the very next day because we th thought it would help and it did help but we're a lot older now, we're 15 years older and there's things we want to do and we just want to see whether or not you know it's a bit easier without a dog I don't know we'll just see won't we we'll see next year we've got a lot of things booked this year haven't we yeah one thing we have noticed is we can both walk in the shops together we can both at the That's drop of that yeah we can go around the sites and stuff Hotels overnight. we're not as limited that's for sure doesn't change uh, our love of dogs no or anything like that we'll see we'll see watch this space Right, talking of watching this space, watch this path because it's a bit steep well, here. You can go this way if you want. Oh, <laughs> she says, just buggering over. I right, know right, watch this because it's a bit. It might not look it on the camera, but it's a bit. Yeah. yeah. Hey, look, leaves are dropping, aren't they? Autumn's around the corner. I've absolutely no idea where this is going to take us. <laughs> I've got a map in my hand. Can you do us a favour? Don't hang on to me because when you go down, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with you. That's the idea. Thank you. Right, catch you in a minute folks, this is getting treacherous. <laughs> <laughs> this is the area in the morning that we're going to come down I think, because we've been down here before and it gets a little bit greener over there for a bit, but you're still in the thick of it down there. We've been down here before and we've seen some deer haven't we? Yeah. Um, so 
It'd be nice to try and catch a deer, not catch one literally, but see one. Or maybe a fox or something. Or one of those wolves that we heard earlier. <laughs> or a bear. A bear, yeah, there might be some bears in the woods in the morning. <coughs> we'll see. Right, we're shattered. <laughs> We've walked for all of 15 minutes, out of breath, mm. yeah. And, and I've had this. <laughs> what are you doing with it? <laughs> and I'm boiling now. Well, you've had the hot water bottle on your back, haven't you? And But actually, you didn't think you'd walk as far as this. We've probably no. done... Well, we've been out for a good hour, haven't we? Mm -hmm. But uh, just thought we'd use this opportunity to say uh, a big thank you to everyone who's subscribed to the channel. It's growing like mad now. Got up... Uh, quite a lot in terms of subscriber count and viewers and stuff and hours viewed of late massive thank you to the Trojans to Dan Trojan who was good enough to give us a big mention on his recent Morn Hill stay he uh, he's ventured out for the first time in a while with his family looks like they've had a great stay at Morn Hill as well uh, and he just mentioned he was going to do a site walk but he didn't bother because we've already done one and he put a link in his video so Mr Trojan Dan uh, the caravan YouTube guru, thank you very much indeed for giving us that mention. We've had a number of subscribers since you did that. Yeah, thanks, Dan. Trudgeon. Trudgeon, you got it right. right. Go what, what do you call it, the Trudgeons over there? Trudgeon. Trudgeons. Trudgeons. <laughs> yeah, she's from Scotland, you know. Hey. <laughs> hey, don't knock me when I've got my. <laughs> We're just going to get our breath back and then we'll carry on the walk. Catch you in a minute. This is definitely a lot busier than it was last night when we arrived. Yeah. Last fling weekend probably school probably. Yeah, last fling literally, isn't it? Although there could be perhaps more adults starting to come out because the kids start to go back to school. Which happens, yeah. Yeah. So our pitch is right at the top of that hill. Try and zoom in a little bit as we're on the move. Oh, that's not us. <laughs> I've zoomed in on the wrong one. That's us. <laughs> Should have gone to Specsavers. So, yeah, so you can see a big open area for caravanning and camping. And then all around the perimeter, lots of trees. Lovely. Just as we walk past this tent here, we had a walk last night in the dark. And these guys were sat out reading their tablets, their Kindles or whatever. Little campfire stove going, candles that it looked really nice. It was quite a warm night last night, wasn't it? Yeah. It was good. Never camped in my life, so hard to say what it's like. We're going to hang around to the right here, but see if you went straight on, you can see there's a load of VW campers down here. Sixes or whatever they are. Someone's cooking in the first one. There's a smoke rises above. That's a nice little bit actually down there. I mentioned on our live that we did the other day that a camper van and a caravan would really appeal to me. Not sure Helen's quite as convinced as I am. Yeah, really have got the best of both worlds, haven't you, if you do that? Yeah. 